Hey there, it's Mark from Men Who Bullet. Thanks for checking out today's video where we're going to be opening up the brand new Arch and Olive subscription box. We've been waiting for this one for quite some time. I mean, it's every quarter, so I don't know. Time seems to go so long between these boxes. I get so excited for them. So I thought what I would do today is another blind unboxing like I did for the last one. I love doing these. One, because it's so exciting to get that first reaction to anything that's new inside of here. And also, not that it's not as fun when I already know what it is, but it's way more fun when we get to kind of experience this together. So let's go ahead and break into the box and we will go and take a look at everything that's a part of this brand new subscription box. Real quick before I do that, I'll put all the details for this subscription box in the descriptions below. So we'll put the link to get you right there if you're not already a part of the subscription box subscription and also more details and pricing for you as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got inside of this subscription box. All right, so the first thing that's on here is the introduction to the subscription box. Now, if this is the same at all the others, on the flip side of this, it shows everything that's in the box, but I'm not going to look at that. I'm just gonna look at the front cover here. So this says, this is called the Ethereal Desert. Welcome to your Archer and Olive subscription box. Flip this card over to just take a look at all the exciting new products. No thank you right now. Additionally, you can scan this QR code to get access to Club a and exclusive blog post. We're going to not look at the back of this that has all the details of everything in here. Instead, let's go ahead and experience that together right now. So what I'm going to pull out, there are all kinds of cool things inside of here. Uh, the first thing that's jumping out to me here is this little craft paper envelope. So haven't seen anything like this from Archer and Olive before. Let's see what's inside of it. Ooh, Archer and Olive sticky notes. I saw a handful of these inside of Bonnie's stories a few weeks ago, and I wasn't quite sure what it is. Just so you know, I'm on the design team, but they don't tell us what's inside of these subscription boxes until we get them. So this is my first time experiencing this, and anything that I see has to be like little sneak peeks that Bonnie does, because otherwise uh, I don't get the, the down low on them. So each one of these sticky notes, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the sticky notes that are in here, and each one of them have a cool little icon on them. We've got moons and botanicals, we've got suns, and we've got some stars and things like that. So I'm curious, just because I can see the next thing that I'm going to pull out here, this is all going to be a theme, and I'm already picking up on uh, some color themes on these as well too. So we'll see if that continues throughout this box. So the next thing that I see in here is a brand new journal cover. This is a faux leather one. I don't believe we've seen anything like this yet from Archer and Olive. It also has this really cool, like a embroidered botanicals here on the front cover. It has a gold Archer and Olive button that's on here. That's the closure that holds the whole thing together. Ooh, that's nice. And then on the inside, we've got a really nice fabric cover here and a little pocket, and that's where your notebook can go into. More than likely, I mean, I know that there's notebooks inside of here. What would be an Archer and Olive sub box without a new notebook? If we've got the A5 size in here though, which I believe that this is, we'll, we'll pop that in there and, and take a look at it. All right, next thing inside of here, it's kind of falling out a little bit. That's what the mail does to these things. Archer and Olive binder clips, set of three. Ooh, so this is new. Some new stationery from Archer and Olive. I always love when they include new stationery in here. It just makes my little heart so excited because as much as I love the notebooks and the acrylograph pens, I love watching Archer and Olive expand into other accessories as well. So hopefully you can get a pretty good look at these. So we've got three of these binder clips. They have similar patterns on them that we've seen so far in the same color scheme. So a lot of the botanicals and the florals that we saw so far are on this one. Uh, this one has a really cool, it's got uh, butterflies and snakes and some other like botanicals, the dragonfly on here. So that's really neat as well. And then this one here has the sun and the moon, I'm sorry, stars and moon on it. That would make sense with that dark sky color. So a three set of binder clips there. All right, next, ooh, new washi tape. I'm really loving the colors on this and definitely the pattern. So that's continued through all of these. So one, two, three, four. So it's a set of four new washies that are here for you. I'm trying to do the same thing as I can on these to get those in focus. So four new colors, we've got the, um, this is actually similar to the 
the design uh, that's on this one here. So we've got kind of this desert theme scene going on with the sand and the cactus, the stars and the moon. That's beautiful. Uh, this one here has more of the botanicals on it. So we've got the flowers and we have some of the leaves and the cacti on there. This just takes all of the colors as a part of this theme and just wraps them inside of uh, this line pattern. And this is actually the pattern that we just saw on the binder clip there. So that has um, some dragonflies, snakes, butterflies, um, some botanicals, as well as some stars as well. So we've got that. So four new washies inside of this as well. Before I go into the notebooks, let's just take a look because so far I'm loving the colors that are a part of this. So I'm going to take a big old assumption and assume that the Acrylograph colors here are going to be the same and they are, and they are awesome. So inside of here are the seven millimeter Acrylograph pens and these are going to be the colors that come as a part of these. Uh, they all match so far with everything that we've seen. So this entire desert collection, uh, all the colors are in here that we've seen. So some of the night skies and some of the deeper, richer colors are in here. I can definitely see myself using these. One of my favorite parts of the acrylographs and the sub boxes are these little like pen holders. Uh, what I've been doing on mine so far is just on the back of them. Is that my whole collection over here, just to keep them all contained. I just write the name of the collection on the back uh, when the subscription box was. So the first subscription box here, uh, we've got the Valentine's Day box here. I don't know, I'm just such a fan of these containers for the acrylographs and the sub boxes. Like if I could just get this for all of them, I'd be super happy and totally cool with it. So new there. All right, it's time to look at notebooks. Can't wait to see what's inside of here. So we've got the same desert uh, theme color that we saw across this entire notebook on here. I don't wanna look to see what this is. Ooh, something new is in the box next. <laughs> so I'm getting ahead of myself here. Let's take a look at that without that cover on there. So that's a really cool, beautiful foil stamp as well as that desert pattern that's on here. And let's see what notebook is inside and what the cover is going to look like because that's always something that is, is really nice. So let's, let's do it this way. I always like this reveal best because you actually see it before I do. All right. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Wow. That is, that is beautiful. All right. So we have an Archer and Olive craft sketchbook. What? All righty. 160 pages. We've got this cool new cover design as well with the mountains, the moon, and the stars on there with the faux leather. I always feel bad breaking the, the paper seal on these. I don't know why, I just feel like I'm doing something bad to it. All right, so let's open this up. So this is, oh gosh, I love this so much already. So it is a complete sketchbook of just craft paper. Me likey, me lovey. I've been doing a lot of the printmaking recently and I'm thinking that this could be my new printmaking uh, book. I just love the way colors look on craft paper. So perfect, love it. All right, so that's one. Um, I also said it is A5 size. Move all my stuff over there. So let's just see what this looks like inside of this, this cover here. So we will take the cover off. We just need that one sleeve to fit inside of this little pocket here. I'm gonna kind of really push that in there to hold it in there. All right. I'm kind of doing that off camera. I'm sorry. It just would have been even more awkward if I would have tried to do it on there. So A5 size here. So that pops open where you can see the cover and then your back page fits right inside of this slot right here to, to keep everything stored together and looking beautiful and looking nice. So. Love that. All right, A5 craft sketchbook. We'll get so much use out of that. I love, love craft paper notebooks. I think they're just stunning. All right, so the new thing that's in here before, there's another notebook inside of here, Archer and Olive ruler stencils. So this is something that is brand new as well. I haven't seen this. I didn't know this was gonna be in here. Let's take that bad boy out. So we've got um, pretty thick uh, plastic here with a ruler on our one end. And then we've got lines, uh, vertical and horizontal. 
We also have our half circles here, stars, squares, and a circle, moon, sun, another square, and a rectangle. So you can use this to set up your pages. Uh, let me take out my current one. I just want to see if the lines line up. You know, it's one of those things where if you get uh, one of these notebooks and you're like, how does that work out? So this is A5. This is my greater good Archer and Olive, the drip, as I call it. Um, so the way, so it doesn't go all the way down the page, but it does line up with the five millimeter grid spacing that's here. So you should be able to use this if you want to create some spaces and squares. Uh, it doesn't go all the way down though. Uh, and same for these, this just kind of covers a few lines. So you can draw a few lines if you want. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for just yet. I got to figure it out. I'm, I'm, Stencils are kind of a hit or miss for me personally, but this is a nice thing to kind of have along with you, kind of pop in the back of your notebook if you want to. It should fit. Hopefully it fits inside of the, inside of the back pocket. Does it? Does it fit? It would almost a little bit too big. I actually don't know that it fits in the back of here. Uh, and if it does, it's like one of those things where like, I'm afraid I'm gonna rip the back pocket. So. It looks like it's just slightly, slightly too big to fit in the back pocket there. So maybe something you put in your backpack. It is nice thick plastic though, so it's not gonna crack as easily as some of those thinner ones do. Um, but that's something new. So ruler stencil is here. Okay, ooh, this slipped away from me. What, we have a pin. We have a pin. Look at that. Another one, we've got a cactus. Um, on here, we've got uh, two little pinholes here on the back. Pin it to a backpack. Pin it to your Archer and Olive canvas bag. That's probably where this one's gonna go. If you've got that canvas bag in one of the, I think it was the last subscription box that we had where that was. So that's really beautiful. All right. And the last thing that's in here, we get all of our surprise paper off. This looks like a fun size. Um, it actually doesn't have anything on the back to show me what it is. So this is a complete surprise. Let me find my little blade again. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. All right. It does have the same pattern as all of the other uh, pieces did here. Pop the top, it's like one of my favorite parts. All right, let's open this together and see what we got going on. You're gonna see it before I do. Tell me if it's good. I don't know if it's good or not, let's see. Ooh, what is this color? Oh, okay. So we've got a color, but we got a lot of colors. Oh my gosh. So these are three, one, two, three of the colors that match up with this whole thing. So it's one of our note, one of the notepads, not one of our, I act like I own the company, but I work with them so much I feel like I do. So notepad uh, with these beautiful, like dark, rich colors inside of here. Size wise though, I'm trying to figure out what size it is because it's not, it's not A5. I wonder if it's, I mean, technically, I mean, it kind of looks square to me, but I don't know if it is the same size. No, a little bit smaller. All right, it's a little bit smaller than the square eight by eight, but we're pretty darn close. But man, those colors are stunning. So now we need to all invest in white gel pens. Uh, I'm sure that these acrylographs are gonna look beautiful on here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and experiment. So that's everything that's inside of this new subscription box. So we have this really cool, I'll call it rainbow, but it's not really rainbow, uh, three color, almost square desk pad. We've got all the boxes and things here. We have a pin with cacti on it, a new plastic ruler, Loving that with a bunch of different sizes and shapes on here. We have the new craft paper sketchbook that's inside of here as well, A5, 160 pages. The new A5 cover, faux leather with this really cool botanical pattern here on the front. 
four new washi tapes that are a part of here, all with the same color scheme and theme. My stuff was flying all over the place before. Three binder clips that follow that same theme as well. The five new Acrylograph pens in these same colors. And we also have these little sticky tabs in here as well. And I think that's everything. Now I can look on the back of this. So A5 Craft Sketchbook, $32 value in here. A5 Special Edition Notepad. So it says A5, even though it was a little bit different than my normal, but it is what it is. A $35 value for that. A5 Embroidered Notebook Covers, a $45 value. Box of three binder clips, $12 value. Acrylic ruler stencil, which is $15 value. The enamel pin, a $12 value. The set of five acrylic graph pens, 0.7 millimeter, $22 value. And the set of four washi tapes, which is an $11 value. That is almost $200 worth of brand new, never before seen products inside of this box. This is awesome. So if you haven't gotten your hands on the box itself and there are some left, you can actually check out the link below, which will link you directly to them. If they're already sold out, that link will though take you to sign you up for email notifications for the next ones that are going to come out. I'll go ahead and put all the descriptions to the items in here in the descriptions below, as well as any links to Archer and Olive and the sub box itself. In case there are any left, and it's hard to tell, these seem to like fly off the shelves. Sometimes there's extra stock. So I'll link that below for you anyway, so that you can check it out and sign up and get your hands on subscription box as well. So this was awesome. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you'd like to check out more unboxing videos, I'll go ahead and put a link to a playlist at the end of here. They're so much fun to do. And these subscription boxes just, they make me so happy and hopefully they make you happy too. I'll talk to you very soon. Take it easy. Have a good one.